Do you have a glass storm door that's trapping in a lot of sunlight, trapping that heat, and you're constantly burning your hand or seeing some paint damage? Well, one thing that we can do is add tint to cut down on some of the light that's coming in from the sun. But does it help? Let's find out. My wife and I recently wanted to add a storm door to the house. However, we have a few things going against us. First, the HOA requires that the storm door be all glass with a white metal edge and cannot have any intricate designs on the glass itself. The glass has to be plain. Second, the house faces towards the west, so in the afternoon, the door gets very hot. I'm concerned about the temperature since we have a greenhouse effect going on. Third, I cannot put a screen in to ventilate since the HOA requires glass. I know, it's silly. I also explored the possibility of adding some kind of ventilation around the edge, specifically on the top and bottom so that you can get some airflow going to cut down on some of the temperature. However, that would compromise on the structure of the storm door, so we decided not to do it. I called the HOA to make sure that adding tint is okay. I know they're very particular about the external colors and designs. The tint that I was looking at um, and eventually getting was adhesive base, so I want to make sure that it's okay with the HOA before this is applied. There are some static cling tints that are out there that if you want to add something temporarily, you can put it on and easily peel it off. But some reviews that I've read say that they don't hold up well without tape. And since I'm doing this for the whole door, it's going to be a pretty significant amount of area that I'm covering. The one I got is also reflective, so during the day, it will act as a one-way mirror for privacy, which is a bonus. So, does this help with temperature? Yes. Let me get into some of the details behind this. I tried to do this scientifically, but ultimately, many variables are involved, so your mileage may vary. I took three different measurements late afternoon, around 5 p.m. on a hot, sunny day, if the days were cooler, cloudy, or raining, I did not take a measurement. I didn't measure the temperature before the storm door was installed, but I did get numbers after and before and after the tent. Without the tent, the temperature of the front door was averaging 193 degrees. After the tent was applied, the average dropped down to 127 degrees, which was a 66 degrees difference. If you look at the box, it says that it rejects 99% of the UV rays it also says that it rejects 79% of the sun's heat. Now that's interesting because we didn't quite see that here, but nevertheless, the heat was still reduced. Now the application of the tint was far from perfect from an aesthetic point of view, but some of you who are more handy with this stuff can probably make straighter cuts than I do and can probably get the air bubbles out better. For me, I was able to cut down on the heat relatively quickly and cheaply, so I'd say this is overall a success. Finally, I want to make a note, I'm not sponsored by anyone, and I just did this as a house project. All the tools that I used here was purchased by me. Oh, and if you're curious, I measured the light transmission since it wasn't advertised on a box. I'm not sure if this is a proper way of doing it, but it'll give you an idea about how dark the tint is. I took my camera and measured the exposure readings, which I'll put here on the screen. It looks like it's a 16% tint, or about a 15% tint if you round to the nearest 5%. Well, that concludes today's video. Hopefully that was helpful. I typically do technology related videos, but this one is a little bit different. So I hope you like it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.